Hey guys, SureShot Midget here. Super excited to make a video on these things right here. Um, these are WEHPA taps. So, um, KY Airsoft, which is a major, major company, a huge company that distributes pretty much anything WE in Hong Kong. I buy all my WE parts there now. Um, Evike is just an awful place to go, and I finally discovered that. Um, so, right here, this is a WE ACR nozzle guide. So that was the last piece that I needed for my ACR, because I actually had this and I lost it. I cannot find it worth the life of me. I think it went in the trash. So, um, I started having an issue with my ACR um, without this. So, I ordered this and it was like $3 or something. Um, the shipping, shipping was like 6 maybe? So the shipping is not that awful. And uh, it took about, it was really weird. It took about two weeks to get this, but it took a week to get the nozzle for my TT33. So I ordered this. The nozzle a week later and I got them the same day so I'm not sure what that was what was up with that but sometimes it's between a week or two weeks and evike shipping is like a week so it's not that much of a difference um, so these are WE HPA taps and again KY Airsoft sent them over they are the same people that gave this patch to me a part of is a part of their giveaway so um, I will link their Facebook page or their I'm not sure if they have a YouTube. I'll, I may, I think they do. I'll link everything that I can find in the description. If you're into WE stuff, go and buy stuff there. These HPA taps are $10. $10. And the Russian taps are, they're $15. Um, and the shipping from Evike and this place is about the same. So overall, you're going to save money buying from KY Airsoft. But you, you might have to wait a little bit longer for shipping but if you know if you don't plan on playing who cares you know you, you some people are patient and can wait plus these are black instead of silver i've never seen an hpa tap that is black so that is extremely cool actually i like that so it's a change we are going to install these taps in a we glock extended magazine and then i think we're going to go ahead and install one into this tt33 and see how it runs so let's go ahead and open it up so this is a sealed package so that's, that's from we tech right there well ky airsoft um but these are we tech made so there's my nozzle guide they mark their uh their part numbers so they know what they're doing they're very organized and i talked to one of the employees over facebook so he and he's very organized very helpful um and there's o-rings in here if they want to come out so it comes with o-rings the russian taps do not come with o-rings so that's a plus um so here are the taps they're nice aluminum that's what they look like um they look pretty clean cut. I take it these are CNC'd. Most of this stuff is CNC'd machined. Um, so basically what you're going to want to do in order to replace your valve is take your base plate off. Most of the time you're going to need to take your base plate off. You take a flathead and you're going to back out this valve. Now this is a brand new Glock magazine. I just did a review on this. So this magazine is fully functional currently. So you're just going to unscrew it and pull it out. There's your standard valve right here. Okay. So then you're going to take your O-ring and you're going to slide the O-ring. You could take the O-ring from your original valve, but they actually include the, the O-ring. So that's awesome. You're going to slide it all the way down. You may need a tool to do this. Um, I don't have anything with me here except for this. You're going to want to make sure it's down on the... No, that's that's where you're going to want it to be, actually. I think. Yeah. That's where you're going to want it to be. So then you take some... You don't have to do this sometimes. Um, sometimes you do... This is plumber's tape. So this is normally what I just do. I'll just rip some plumber's tape off and throw it on the threads just to seal it up. So throw it on the threads. I'm not going to make this super clean, but I'm kind of perfectionist. So with my HPA taps on my pistol, I got Russian ones, but they're for the KWAs. 
So if WE made KWA compatible valves, I would definitely buy them. But I have three HPA tap magazines with KWA valves, but you can see the color difference. And this actually looks much cleaner. Um, okay, let's go ahead and install it. So you could use pliers for this to tighten it. Um, I'm just going to do hand tight. Oh, that is so sleek with the black. Check that out. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, so we did one. Um, I am not gonna, I'm just gonna dry fire. Um, let me go ahead and grab my line. Okay, I'll go ahead and show you what I'm running. I'm running a Ninja 45 cubic inch, 48 cubic inch, 3000 PSI tank. I have it set for 120 PSI and it's at about zero power left, zero air left in the tank. So let's see if it, no leaks, we're good. There you go, no leaks. That's, that's literally how easy it is to install these HPA taps. Now let's see how much air sprays out when you, it's about the same as the, as the, um, the uh, Russian mat, uh, taps, the way, actually, that, that sounds more of like the, uh, let me go ahead and compare, and about the same, because I did notice, um, it kind of sounded a little bit different, because I have custom tap mags for my USP. These are not HPA or not WE, not KWA type. These are literally custom made and they have more power when you take the mag out. It sprays more. So, yeah. Um, that literally was that easy to do with this pistol. So, if you're interested in these, $10 from KY Airsoft. Um, Evike may start carrying these, but I doubt it. They have a deal with HPA Russia. But if you're looking for HPA taps and you don't mind waiting a week, ten dollars per and then you know the the packaging that it came in was this it came in a pa basically a padded envelope and you could buy ten of these and they would fit them in this and the shipping would be that cheap so um i paid like six for shipping or something like that um they sent me these hpa taps for free um so i did get these hpa taps as a sponsorship from ky airsoft um so yeah i mean if you're interested in in these go get them um these are going to be used in james's pistol and in fact i think i'm going to install one in my tp33 um, i'm thinking about doing that i'm just swapping back back and forth between the hpa and the green gas or propane rather um but yeah this will be kept in his magazine in james's magazine i think he wants it in his short mag though but anyways he's going to keep it he's going to use it if we have any issues with it if this thread strip or anything we i will let you know but this thing seems to be very solid if not more solid than the hpa russia taps um super nice they they get my approval straight up they come with the o-ring they're ten dollars they're ten dollars so yeah i can't stress that enough they're only ten dollars guys um, and these fit all your WE mags, your, you know, some of them you may have to do modifications to the base plate, um, but that is, has nothing to do with the tap itself. Base plates can be picky. So, if you have any questions, guys, comment below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I will try to link their Facebook. If they have a YouTube, I'll link their YouTube. I've seen them make videos, so I think they have a YouTube, and hopefully their website. Now, the website's kind of hard to find. If you look up KY Airsoft, it comes up with, like, Kentucky Airsoft, um, you know, you know a u.s state is kentucky so it comes up with like kentucky's airsoft like field or like a like an airsoft ohio kind of thing like a form um so they're not in kentucky they're in hong kong so um i'll have to link that specifically in the description well i'll have to get the right link so that you guys can go and get your own stuff um really do recommend getting your stuff there and if they don't have anything you can go message them on their facebook page and they will actually put in a request for a part you need and they get a shipment every month from we so they can get basically whatever you want so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the video see you guys